Hey guys, welcome back to another Golfing Minnesota video and today we are going to do a end of the season what is in my bag. Um, this season was kind of like me getting back into the game of golf. Um, the last time I actually played consistently was about 15-16 years ago um, and so in that time span technology has changed. Uh, the clubs I have now definitely weren't the same clubs that I used way back when when I was a kid. Um, and uh, the clubs that I use now definitely weren't the ones that I moved from Texas with, definitely weren't the ones that I used uh, during the Golf Classic that I played earlier this year. Things have changed. My bag has rotated a bunch of clubs in and out uh, from drivers to three woods to five woods to hybrids to uh, wedges and putters, you name it. I went through kind of like this uh, kind of finding what fit my game the best and kind of redefining my game and trying to figure out what my game looked like after so many years of not playing golf. Um, and this is kind of what I landed on. Um, and so that's kind of what I did. I mean, I went through different drivers, different three woods, different hybrids, different five woods, different irons and different putters and different wedges, like I said. Um, and this is what I ended up on. Um, now these irons that I have in the bag are the irons that I broke 90 with. Uh, the wedges that I have are the uh, uh, wedges that I bought recently, um, probably within the last month or so. Um, I do have a hybrid in the bag, which is something that I haven't had since I moved from Texas. Um, definitely have a different putter, um, a different driver, and a definitely a different 3 wood. Um, so we're going to go through some of the changes. We're going to talk about some of these clubs. Some of them you've seen before, some of them you haven't, and this is my first time talking about them. We're not going to get super in-depth. Um, we're not going to go into the bag at all. Nothing in my bag has changed other than the bag itself. I went through a number of bags this year trying to find what bag worked for me. Honestly, I regret, uh, bleh, I regret selling my Wilson bag. I wish I really still had that staff bag. That was awesome. Um, but I have this Titleist Fitting Works bag. Um, this works well. This is just a cart bag. Um, I don't have too much stuff in it other than a golf club golf glove I uh, cannot talk today a golf glove uh, ball markers and a few golf balls um, and then a golf towel on the back and then like a like a cleaning brush for my irons and stuff in between shots uh, I do have a set of alignment sticks uh, in here um, and so we'll just go through it so for my wedges I am playing um, title is Vokey wedges now this isn't something that I went and got fitted for uh, ever since I started playing again, I had my heart set on a set of Vokies. Um, I didn't care if they were new or used, I was fine either way. But golfing on a budget, like I am, I wanted something that I could definitely afford. And used was the route I went. I have a, well let's see, a 56, 60, and a 64. My 60 degree is longer than my other um, clubs. Uh, I think someone was originally fitted for a set of these Vokey SM8 wedges, which what this is. Um, and the gentleman or the lady uh, was definitely taller than I am, uh, but this does have a KBS shaft in it. I do like that shaft. Actually, when I get ready to reshaft my irons, my other uh, wedges, um, and my hybrid, I will go into a KBS shaft. I really like the way this thing performs. It feels good. This club, I hit this club phenomenally well. Uh, but yeah, so it's uh, 56, 60, 64. That's the wedge setup that I use. Um, I am going to change it up. Uh, I'm probably gonna get a 52 uh, and a 60 that match this finish, this oil can finish. I do like that. Um, I will hang on to this 68 degree because it is a, a this 60 degree. I'm sorry because it is an SM8 um, And I do like this wedge so I'll get a matching 60 and a 52 for this and have four wedges Because um, I don't always carry a pitching wedge with me um, and so when I go down to uh, You know, maybe a, a maybe my next bag might not have a I might not want to carry a pitching wedge with me, you know, I will go to like a 52 and I think that'll be okay. Um, if not, I can always play, you know, a, a, like a half swing or three quarter swing nine iron um, and, and do that. But for the most part, this is the wedge that I set up I have. I do like it. It works really well for me. The 64 is what I use mostly around the green and bunkers that are really, really close to the flag. I use that. 
Um, and then my 60 degree I use with my sand wedge and anything that's from like 80 yards in. And my 56 I use from like 110 in is what I use my 56 for. So those are my wedges, Titleist Bogies. Uh, great set of wedges, like I said, they were used. The face are in great shape, the grooves are in great shape. Uh, um, the only thing that's really worn on these um, wedges are the finish, and that's just because they've been well loved over the past. Um, now, I went through quite a bit of irons this year. I, uh, this season, I, I tried out Wilson's, I tried out Ram, I tried out Spalding, um, just things that I can get my hands on for a good price. Um, and I ended up um, settling on these Nike Slingshot irons. Um, these were on my other What's in the Bag video, but these are the irons that I finally settled on. Um, I played my best round with these. I broke 90 this year. I shot 89 with these irons. Um, this is kind of everything that I was really hoping to find in an iron as far as forgiveness goes, ball flight, distance. Um, actually, the way this iron sounds because it has a hollow cavity back here it kind of makes this whooshing sound um and when i'm swinging them really hard they kind of it's it's, all, it's kind of it's kind of a cool sound to listen to kind of spooky uh so i like that about this iron um i i come across them every once in a while on uh the internet new iron sets and stuff like that and i contemplate about buying another set but for right now this is what i use iron wise uh, original um, shafts in these things. The grips are different. The grips don't all match up. So this off season, I will regrip my full irons for through pitching wedge. Um, uh, I will probably go to like either a mid size or standard grip. My four iron and my six iron do have the the mid size grips on them from Lambkin, um, but they're not all the same. Uh, and I've, I've adjusted to that, so I'm pretty used to playing with un, unmatched grips on my clubs, but it would be nice just to go through and have like one size grips through all my clubs. So I'll probably do from my pitching of my wedges, through my irons, through my hybrid driver, and I will regrip my putter this season, this uh, off season. So I'll come out with fresh new grips at the beginning of next season. Super excited about that. Um, so yeah, so my irons are Nike Slingshot 4 through P Wedge. Um, the other club in my bag that uh, is a Ram GeForce 3 Hybrid. That is the bottom of the club there. Um, I don't play a lot of hybrids, however I decided to take a little bit of a chance on this club. Uh, I did find this hanging out in a Goodwill, I think I picked it up for like 3 bucks. Um, it was in good shape. Uh, um, this is from a Ram GeForce Tour Step 14 piece set someone had brought in. I um, got the hybrid, the three wood, and the driver in my bag. I did have the irons, but I wasn't a massive fan of them, so I did uh, flip them for a little bit of a profit. Uh, but um, I kept the hybrid because I hit this really, really well. I bought this. Um, for something like long par threes, short par fours, or if I just want to do good course management and play good golf, this is why I have this in the bag. I did use this on my recent round that I did play last weekend with my cousin. Um, I did hit this really, really well. Off the tee, I tend to hit it a little high. Out of the rough, I hit like a like a, a low to mid, mid shot, a, a bit to low ball fight on it. So... Um, I do like this club out of the rough when I am didn't hit a good tee shot. This is a good rescue club for me. I do hit this really, really well. Um, and so it's a good fit for me. And so that's why I have it in the bag. I'm excited to use that more this, uh, this off season. Um, my three wood is a Ram G4. Yep, yeah, 15 degree. There's that. Um, this has the original shaft in it, original grip. Nothing's really been changed on this thing. Um, I don't think there is much you can change on these kind of like, just things that you can't, non-adjustable heads. I don't think there's much you can change. But uh, anyway, I hit this club really, really well. Um, the thing, uh, the one of the reasons why I did switch out my wood, my three wood and my driver was my last three wood I had in the bag was a Titleist 
904F, a little bit of an older club, uh, and I just stopped hitting it well. Um, I really don't know why. I don't know if it was something in my swing, if it was my approach, whatever, but I was not hitting it well, and so I wanted to try something different. I found this sitting at um, the Goodwill. I got this for three dollars as well, as well as the driver. I think was four bucks, but I found the the hybrid, the the three wood and the driver, and I decided to take a chance and buy them all, um, and it worked out. Uh, I have hit my best tee shots with the three wood and driver this season with these two uh, in the bag. So um, this is a driver. This is a Ram GeForce again. 10 and a half degree, I believe. Um, and this has a regular graphite shaft that came in it. Like I said, I don't know if there is much that you can change on these, uh, like older clubs or non-adjustable clubs like you would get in a starter set. Um, but one thing I did notice is, so I did have a ping rapture for the really, really long time. Uh, I wouldn't say really long time, but I did have it for the majority of the season. Um, and I hit that really, really well up to a certain point, and then I just couldn't hit it anymore for some reason. Um, and I uh, was looking for something different, and this Ram driver that I have in the bag, I hit really well, and I hit some of my better tee shots with it this season. Um, uh, and one of the things uh, that's different about this one than the Ping driver I used to have, the Ping was a 460cc, this is a 430cc. A little smaller head um, and it feels a lot better in my hands um, now the shaft isn't as stiff I think the ping rapture has like a stiffer shaft in it this one is more of like a regular flex and it's got a little bit more whip in it um, and I can feel it and maybe that's what makes a big difference for me um, I don't know but this club does do well for me uh, so driver three wood and hybrid are taken care of I have played my best golf with these with this three wood and driver in the bag. Uh, the other club that is different for me, kind of wrapping up the season that I've settled on are, is my putter. I have had a few different putters here recently. Um, it's always something I'm trying to figure out, you know, hey, blade versus mallet, maybe a combo of both, some sort of like hybrid. Um, and that's kind of what I've settled on. I've settled on a Mizuno, Mizu sorry, Mizuno Tour, 940 and that's the bottom of the club there this is kind of like a mallet a mallet slash blade hybrid it's not very wide as you can see right here it's not not super wide like a mallet putter but it's not narrow like a blade putter at well it's kind of like a happy medium and the weight's really nice on this thing uh, the thing that's different is there's no milling or no insert on the face. It's just a smooth finish. Um, and the ball feels really good. I actually really like the way this putter sounds uh, when it connects with the ball. A nice firm putter. Uh, and um, I did bring two putters with me when I went and played last week and trying them out. Uh, and I did putt well with this one. Uh, better than I did with my other Wilson putters. Um, so. That is why this is in the bag. Expect to see it a lot next season. Um, and we're gonna definitely go a lot lower than 89 next season. I can feel it. I feel good where I'm leaving my golf game this season. I feel confident that when I pick it up again next season, put in some work during the off season, uh, my golf game is gonna be a lot better. Now, that's one of the other putters, that's the, my main putter. The other backup putters that I have is a Wilson Stab 8885 Black Mallet Putter. That's kind of what it looks like there. Um, this does have milling on the face. Um, and I brought this one with me to the course. Um, and I did like the way it feel, feels. I did like the way it felt, but uh, this one, feel-wise for me, feels just a little better, but I wouldn't mind using this. So I'm going to use both of them in the off-season. Um, and um, so I, I feel comfortable switching them out simultaneously in the bag. So, um, yeah, but so this is the other putter that I do have on backup in case something goes wrong with that one or in case I want to change it up. You know, putting putting's one of those things that has a tendency to change over time throughout the season. So... 
that's one of the two that I have on backup. The other one, you guys have already seen, Wilson's Fat Shaft uh, CI3 Copper Insert Putter. This one's a blade style with a thicker shaft on it. Still has a lambkin grip on it. One of these days I will regrip it, but I'm not really using this putter as much right now because I do have these two really good options next to me, this one here and that one in the bag. You know, it's just there in case I need it, in case I want to go back to a blade putter. Um, so that's kind of what's in my bag. So like I said, guys, this season was kind of rediscovering my game, finding what works for me, putting together what I considered a good bag for me. Might not be a good bag for someone else. Uh, but this was the best bag that I could put together on the budget that I had. Personally, I think I did really well. Nike irons are getting harder to find. Um, uh, you know, Vokey wedges, you know, you can find those used all over the place. But I think for the budget that I, I had, had and continue to have throughout this golf season, I think this was the best bag I could put together. And, uh, you know, the irons I broke 90 with. Um, didn't have my wedges then, but I think this is the back where I can definitely be my personal best, which right now it is an 89. The worst recorded round that I played uh, this season was like a 96, I believe. 96 or 94, somewhere in there. Um, but if you guys liked the video, make sure you leave a comment, make sure you hit the like button, make sure you hit the subscribe. Uh, follow us on Instagram, we'll make sure to follow you back. Uh, Instagram is at golfing Minnesota. Um, or at golfing MN is actually the Instagram tag. Um, uh, YouTube channel is uh, golfing Minnesota. Um, I hope you guys enjoyed the video. We'll catch you guys next season. I'll try to sneak in around before everything closes down and snow starts to fall. Um, I'll definitely record some holes during that round if I get another chance to get out and play. But this is will be the bag that I'm using. Hopefully I can get another bag. This is the only bag that I have right now. So I'm trying to, that's another thing I'm hunting for. Maybe I'll look through in the off season, a good bag that fits all the clubs I have because I play anywhere from 13 to 14 clubs. Um, and finding a carry bag or a stand bag that will fit that uh, can be a bit of a challenge. Um, so that's kind of where I'm going. I'm looking for a new bag. So the hunt is on. If you guys have any recommendations for any bags that I should try, bags that I should look up, things, reviews that you guys can give me advice on, definitely drop a comment below or just send me a DM on Instagram. I'm always open to look at new products, try new things. Um, but until next time, guys, we'll see you out on the course. Enjoy the rest of your golf season if you can still play. I know my friends uh, back down in Texas play all year round because we don't really have winter down there. It maybe happens like gets cold for a week and then the rest is just hot mugginess down in Houston. So until next time, guys, we'll catch you later.